Hello friends, I am back with a new lesson on nouns. In our previous lessons, we learnt about types of nouns, nouns cases and nouns gender. Today, we will deal with nouns number. So, let us start it. Number. In nouns, number means the mode of indicating whether we are speaking of one thing or of more than one. Our language has two numbers, singular and plural. The singular number denotes that one thing is spoken of and the plural mean more than one. Then we have countable nouns. The countable nouns have both singular and plural forms. But uncountable nouns and mass nouns do not normally have a plural form. Now let's see how plurals are formed. There are three ways of changing the singular form to the plural. Number 1. By adding S or ES, such plurals are known as regular plurals. The second way is by changing the root vowel. And third way is by adding EN. Plurals formed in this way are known as irregular plurals. The most common way of changing singular to plural is by adding S. For example, cats, pencils, girls, chairs, spoons etc. Similarly, if the word ends in Y preceded by a vowel, in that case also S will be added. For example, monkeys, keys, rays, toys, boys, etc. Regular plurals are also formed by adding ES if the nouns end in S, SS, CH, X, ZZ or O. For example, Focuses, princesses, churches, boxes, buzzes, heroes, potatoes, etc. But there are certain exceptions. Plural number is formed by adding S only even if the noun ends in O. For example, radios, photos, pianos, videos, etc. If a word ends in Y, preceded by a consonant, the Y is then changed to I and ES is added. For example, babies, hobbies, stories, flies, batteries, allies, etc. Similarly, if a word ends in F or FE, the F or FE is then changed to V and ES is added. For example, leaves, halves, thieves, knives, lives, etc. But there are certain exceptions to this rule. For example, chiefs, gulfs, cliffs, roofs, dwarfs, scarves, etc. All these words have their ending in F. Still, only S is added. Now, we will discuss the irregular plurals. Some nouns have two plural forms, as in the case of fish. Some of them have the same form in the singular and plural as in the case of sheep, deer and swine. The first way of making the irregular plural is by changing the root vowel. For example, men, men, woman, women, foot, feet, mouse, mice, goose, geese, tooth, teeth, etc. The second way is by adding en. Only two words exist in the modern English and they are child, children, ox, oxen. Certain nouns have both regular and irregular plural forms, but they have different significations. For example, brother. When it means one of the same family, its plural will be brothers. But when it means one of the same society, its plural will be brethren. And same case is there with other words like index, genius, etc. Now it is the turn of compound nouns. In case of compound nouns, plural will be formed by adding s to the principal word. For example, son-in-law. Here the principal word is son. So its plural will be sons-in-law. Then we have maid servant. Here the servant is the principal word. 
so its plural will be maid servants similarly we have three games consoles two book cases two indian takeaways several passers by step daughters commanders in chief etc here is a very interesting thing for you compound nouns with woman as the first word make the both words plural so we will say a woman doctor and several women doctors for a woman driver the plural will be women drivers a compound word which ends in full normally adds s after full but there is an alternative form with the s following the base noun so we can say three cupfuls or three cups full similarly both two spoonfuls and two spoons full are correct now we will see plural nouns with singular reference some nouns referring to clothes and tools where two equal parts are joined together for example trousers binoculars tongs spectacles glasses are treated as being plural and are followed by a verb in the plural for example my shorts are dirty the scissors are on the table to talk about one of these item we can use the expression a pair of for example john bought a pair of jeans however to talk about more than one we can say many pairs of for example martina bought five pairs of jeans here is an interesting thing which one is correct million or millions dozen or dozens when these words are used as ordinary numbers they have no plural form in singular we can say 1 million stars and 1 dozen bananas in plural we will say 5 million stars and 10 dozen bananas when they are used to mean a large number they do have a plural form which can be used as a partitive for example there are millions of pebbles on the beach i saw dozens of children in the playground now finally we will discuss the nouns that have come into english from foreign languages like greek latin etc there are three rules for the plural formation rule a certain nouns keep the plural form of the language they come from some common examples are crisis excess aluminous focus radius datum and criterion rule b some have plurals formed according to the rules for plural in english for example thesaurus rule c some have two plurals one from the foreign language and other formed according to the rules for plural formation in english the foreign plural is usually kept for scientific a specialized use for example index formula and fungus that's all about numbers in brief to know more about numbers refer a good grammar book